Good afternoon YouTubers. Well, we have a forecast for rain again tonight and in the morning, but then we have a window of opportunity where it's going to be dry for the weekend, hopefully. So Fiona's on with her spirally staircase at the moment and uh, we won't be able to do any matting until the weather dries up. What? What? I heard you going ba-bam-bam. Bam. Ah. What yeah, was... well these are the two bottom legs. They're both exactly the same height. I've just gone to loads of trouble and then I've just realised I already had one on there and I can't get any of them off. They're never coming off again. So I've got to unscrew that, which was a right fiddle last night, and put one of these on. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I know exactly what you mean. But don't worry, I've got some... Well, I'd have to do that anyway, I suppose. I'm going to have to do that I'm with I'm sure I've got step. a seven millimetre spanner in the house. So we'll have to go to the house. We'll no, you haven't. And I know a Chinaman who's got a full set. Oh, and you've tightened them right up as well, haven't you? Oh, no! Well, do you want me to help you untighten them? Because we can put pliers, mole grips will grip them, and then, but then the thread's all round, don't they, on the star shape. That's why they recommend Allen keys, Allen bolts. But they've got them coming, and they'll be here next week. Right. So, um... depends. We're making this up as we go along. We've got the design. Well, Fiona's designed it, and we're just tweaking well, I'll carry and on with playing what I'm with doing. it. I've got my next two legs. Um... See one, two, and then three. The first three legs, and those two legs are exactly the same length. Then it, obviously it gets trickier the longer the legs are because we all know none of the legs are going to be the right length. We'll never get them the right length. We'll have to just see. It's, I've got to get the first few up so it can at least stand up on its own. Yeah. You see, and then. And the boat floor will not be dead flat. Do you think it, you anticipate a few wobbly legs? Yes, definitely. So it will be fixed and secured in place eventually because otherwise it's just going to wobble all over the place, isn't it? Yes. Well, we'll see. Might be all right. Anyway, so what else have you been up to today? Um, nothing. That's been it, really. No, I haven't really done anything today. I've, I've been uh, watching Poirot. I was watching Trevor's videos yeah. he did a funny one oh he's elicited it though so let's not mention that you, you, you uploaded the wrong one <laughs> which we've all done and they've gone no it was the wrong one delete but by then hundreds of people have seen it yeah yeah now i said to fiona don't lose the screws so i put them in the champagne glass and it just fits just nice like that look in the in the dashboard that's a cool place next to Fiona's tiara. Do you need your tiara on, darling? While Every you're wheelhouse has a tiara. Wood. Yes. Do you remember I used to wear I used to wear pearls and tiaras and stuff on the dolphin boat <laughs> all the time? It's called style, darling. You, you used to wear a bowler hat. I think everyone thought you were <laughs> I did for a long time, yeah. Anyway, we were looking at a video of Lewis today, weren't we? We were bringing back some memories for oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Old Lewis. Yes, yeah, so I had this memory all of a sudden. Um, you said that street was haunted, remember? Oh, south over, yeah. I think it's called Priory, Priory Lane, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in south over. Yeah, I knew loads of people who lived there. They were, they'd say to me, you think your house is bad? You want to try living in my house, it's even worse. You have to get used to passing ghosts on the landing yeah, and things. Yeah, yeah. We're always talking about the smell of onions and stuff as well. They reckoned that was a... Maybe the monks were into boiling onions. Because it, it was a silent order, apparently. Not only silent, they wouldn't let anyone look at them. Oh. So they designated a few monks and there are tunnels all under Lewis. Someone told my dad, he was like, oh my God. <laughs> the friends of Lewis were know all about it. called the friends of Lewis, and my dad called them the fiends of Lewis because he, he wanted his chimney stack fixed, and they'd gone, "Oh, you can't touch that. No, that's historical." And he was like, "Oh my god, it's going to fall off and go through the roof and kill somebody." Um, yeah, so one of them, they said, "Yeah, these monks, they've got there are tunnels all under Lewis, loads of them." Well, it's chalk, isn't it? 
Yeah, and they they come out somewhere down, way down in the valley, halfway to New Haven on the river, and then they go down with their hoods right down, and they'd sell honey that they'd made and stuff like that. Maybe they were into onion soup. I don't know. Pretty cool, huh? Who knows what goes on behind the doors in, in the monastery? <laughs> what, a load of men in dresses? I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, but the, the really, the memories that were coming back, it was like Shelley Hotel, what I told you tonight today. Yeah, yeah. How oh, fucking unjust. And I just, I forgot. Well, you haven't told the people the story. Well, my dad had a, a law firm and... Um, he used to, for some people, if they had a wake or if they had a function, he'd say, do it at Shelley's Hotel. And um, I mean, now I'm going back to the 80s here, 85. So it's going to be all different people own Shelley's Hotel, I'm sure, work there. Anyway, <coughs> he'd say, just tell them to send a bill to Lewis, Homan and Lawrence and we'll pay it. You know, we'll allocate it to the client name. And I was called into his office one day and he went, what's all this shit about? Uh, four pints of lager and six coffees and a load of sandwiches. I said, I don't know. And I swear to God, I have never set foot in Shelley's Hotel my whole life. It's one of those places, I've been everywhere in Lewis. I lived in Lewis for 20 years. That's pretty much the only building I have never, ever, ever been in. And we go past it all the time. It's on the high street. As a kid, I used to think, I wonder what it's like in there. But I didn't go in because my dad said, oh, it's shit. I probably shouldn't say that on YouTube. Well, he's dead, so he won't care. Well, it probably was in the 80s. Anyway, he said, well, there's this bill. And Shelley's Hotel say it was you and your mates. I said, it fucking wasn't. I have never been in Shelley's Hotel. And I just remember today that was one of the reasons I was sent to Canada. I was banished. Because some thieving bastard, probably a member of staff who knew that there was this uh, policy that people could just say, send a bill to Lois Homan and Lawrence. They just thought they'd have a piss up at my expense and my dad's expense. My dad believed it. And that was one of the reasons I was sent away. Banished. And I'd forgotten that until today, watching that video. I just thought, I mean, story of my life. Fiona did it, Fiona did it, Fiona did it. Oh, God, all right then. And you said that clock took you back to times, because you could hear that from your bedroom, couldn't you? Yeah, all the time. What was the church called straight across the road? St Michael's. Was it? And the clock was on the next building, wasn't it? Yeah, I think the vicar lives there. I think it was the, the vicarage or something. Right. It's just like a little um, gated area where you go in and the church is one way. And the Do you have any good there. memories of Lewis? Because growing up there. Or were they all really not so good that you'd rather forget? I mean, apart from us getting married. Oh, so we, yeah, we, yeah. That, got... But I don't associate that with it because that was a, that's a different... Like, you go through shit in your life, um, and then you go through different shit, you know, phases, a bit like being Doctor Who, where you reincarnated and it's a different life, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like your life when you were parachuting and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a different Graham, isn't it? Um, so I don't associate us getting married at Grange um, Manor with all that back in Lewis. Um, yes, when I was little, I really loved Christmas. That's about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs>